Mississippi's 4th Congressional District covers the southeastern region of the state. It includes all of Mississippi's Gulf Coast, stretching 90 miles between the Alabama border to the east and the Louisiana border to the west, and extends north into the Pine Belt region. It includes three of Mississippi's four most heavily populated cities, Gulfport, Biloxi, and Hattiesburg. Other major cities within the district include Bay St. Louis, Laurel, and Pascagoula. The people of the Mississippi's Fourth are currently represented by Republican Stephen Palazzo. During the 111th Congress, MS4, along with Texas's 17th Congressional District, was the most Republican district in the nation to be represented by a Democrat, with a Cook PVI of R plus 2-0. However, on November 2, 2010, the Democratic incumbents of both districts were defeated by their respective Republican challengers. State Representative Stephen Palazzo defeated Rep. Gene Taylor by a 5% vote differential. From statehood to the election of 1846, Mississippi elected representatives at large statewide on a general ticket. <laughs> Cities Three of Mississippi's four most heavily populated cities, Gulfport, Biloxi, Hattiesburg are in the 4th District. Other major cities within the district include Bay St. Louis, Laurel, and Pascagoula. Counties <coughs> 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 Since 2013 the entire counties of Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Pearl River, Stone, George, Marion, Lamar, Forrest, Perry, Green, Jones, and Wayne, along with the southeastern part of Clark are counted in this district. <laughs> <laughs> Federal highways Interstate 59 is an important north-south route that traverses the district, while Coastal Interstate 10 serves as the major east-west route from New Orleans to Mobile. U.S. Highway 49 is a vital hurricane evacuation route and is four-lane from Gulfport to Jackson. U.S. Highway 84 enters the state near Waynesboro and is four-lane statewide, passing through Laurel, Brookhaven and Natchez. Boundaries Prior to 2003, the district included most of Jackson, all of Natchez and the southwestern part of the state. In 2003, after Mississippi lost a seat in redistricting, the old 4th district was eliminated. Most of Jackson, as well as the bulk of the district's black constituents, were drawn into the 2nd district, while most of Jackson's suburbs were drawn into the 3rd district. As a result, most of the old 5th district was redefined as the new 4th district. The perimeter of the current 4th district extends across the 90 mile coastal southern edge of Mississippi from the Louisiana border to the Alabama border, following the Alabama state line north along the eastern border of the state to a point due east of Quitman in Clark County, where it is bounded by the 3rd district and then moves in an irregular fashion south of Quitman until it reaches the county line with Wayne County, and then follows the northern and western borders to wholly contain Jones, Forest. Forest, Lamar, and Marion counties until it reaches the Louisiana state line, ultimately bounded by the Pearl River winding to its outlet in Lake Bourne. History The 4th District, like most of Mississippi, is built on a strong history of agriculture. List of representatives Topic Elections Topic Twenty Ten Topic Two Thousand Eight Topic two thousand six Fourth District incumbent Jean Taylor D was re elected, gathering eighty per cent of the fourth district's vote. He is considered one of the most conservative Democrats in the House. One. His district has a Cook Political Report rating of R plus one six. Taylor faced challenger Randall Randy 
McDonnell, a former IRS agent. McDonnell, the Republican Party nominee, had also unsuccessfully challenged Taylor in both 1998 and 2000. Taylor first was elected in 1989 to Mississippi's 5th Congressional District, after having lost to Larkin I. Smith in the 1988 race for that open seat, which had been vacated by Trent Lott when Lott made a successful run for the Senate. Smith died eight months later in a plane crash. Taylor came in first in the special election primary to fill the seat, winning the runoff election two weeks later and taking office on October 18, 1989. In 1990, Taylor won a full term in the 5th District with 81% of the vote, and has been re-elected at each election since. His district was renumbered the 4th after the redistricting of 2000, which cost Mississippi a congressional seat. In 2004, Taylor was re-elected to the House with 64% of their vote, choosing him over both Republican nominee Michael Lott and Reform nominee Tracella Hill. Topic 2004. Topic 2002. Topic Historical District Boundaries. Topic See also. Mississippi's congressional districts List of United States congressional districts <laughs>